Hi, so we're Audio Distribution Group at the Guitar Summit 2019. It is. Yeah, it's time flies. We have several brands which are pretty cool. We'll start here and then go this way. Firstly, this is one of the most beautiful guitars I've ever seen at the show. It's lime green. I don't normally like lime green, but it's pretty damn cool. Uh, yep, we have the uh, Rev D20. I think a lot of people have heard about this one already, but it's a 20 watt or 4 watt special tube amp with the two nose technology inside so you can actually it had several different cabinet models on the front it's uh we're actually just running this at the show with headphones with rev pedals in the front and the sound is fantastic i think one of the most important things is actually how this feels rather than any sort of technical details i mean there's te there's uh, 12 x 7s in the preamp it's a full tube amp uh, six uh, six v sixes in the power amp stage can't exactly remember i'm pretty sure that's right but everything's on it, XLR out, USB out, it's got effects loop, it's it's the complete package in a small thing and it's also extremely affordable. Oh, it's also got MIDI in, you notice that? Yeah. yeah. You can actually have 128 cabinet models uh, switchable with MIDI if you run the MIDI in that way. Uh, all the two note stuff, so we're not talking about IR loading, we're talking about actual cabinet modeling technology with movable microphone placement, all that kind of stuff. Down here to the board though, uh, we have the three Rev G series pedals, Little Bear, Medium Bear, Big Bear. It's low gain, it's also high gain, but the, the G3 is very well known for its aggressive sound and its focus mids. And the red is just full on raw aggression and tone. Then we move on to another product, which is a real house favorite right now, which is the new Peterson Strober Stomp HD. The display on this tuner and the benefits of having sweetened tunings within a pedal in this sort of format is just fantastic. This one doesn't have the lights on, but this is a seriously nicely built piece of kit with a huge display, which you can see. You can have presets on it. It has sweetened tunings for guitar and every single instrument with strings under the sun. It has equal tuning like everything else. I think it's the only tuner in the world that can go down to a low F sharp on a, on a bass, which is pretty special too. But if you just look at this screen and then you look at the, uh, look at the fact that you can have presets and you can save them in different colors. Actually, there was a comment from a few people on some other pedals we had where it just had orange LEDs. And some people actually are colorblind with certain colors. So you're never gonna have this problem with this pedal because you can actually change the color to suit whatever it is you like. Then moving along over here, we have our, thank you, Andreas, lovely standard Peterson clip, which has been on the market for quite some time now. It's one of the best selling items we have. Again, all the sweetened tunings in the package, extremely affordable, works on everything. It's actually a really great bass tuner, even though it's a clip. And then we have the Strobo Plus HD, which is the uh, long-standing member of the Peterson Tumor family and still something which is extremely popular now. It does everything also with the free software update you get to get the built-in metronome on it. It's a real winner. And a microphone. And a microphone, thank you. I won't ever be able to remember everything, but we're doing the best we can. Seox DC7. Power supplies are generally boring. Um, this is the only power supply I know which isn't boring. So each single one of these outputs here, of which there are seven, uh, including also a USB charging output, will put out 667 milliamps, not 66, 667 to be a little bit more friendly, at nine volt. You can also switch it to all the different currency uh, to 18 volt, 12 volt, such like, as is on the diagram, the little dip switches. But the point being that there is no other power supply on the market that supplies this amount of power per output. And these days with a lot of guys using, you know, Line 6 HX effects or using some heavy duty Strymon, Earthquaker, those kind of pedals, you always have that problem where you can't power the pedals off one output or you run off, run out of outputs or you need to join two outputs together to power one pedal. Or you need to run your whole board and then have one 9 volt power supply on the side to supply just one pedal. For me, that's just a pain in the ass. With this one, it does everything. The other notable part is it's actually the thinnest power supply on the market. It goes under any board. And with the additional grip, uh, which you can get from Seox as well, which just screws onto here, you can just fit it underneath any pedal board with two screws. It's the most simple mounting solution in the world. So that's that one. Then we have 
one of our favorite bands and something a little special is old blood noise endeavors a lot of guys will know the revere it's the new product they launched earlier at the uh, i think it was at the end of last year but it's been a real success for them um, a combination project with them and data choir this is a really cool product a lot of guys who know old blood noise or have heard of the brand have heard of the dark star probably the most popular pad reverb pedal on the market generally then you've got the other flavors of uh, reverb that was a procession which is just a gorgeous kind of atmospheric sci-fi reverb chorusing the the reflector is really worth checking out because it actually has reverb modes you can even do theremin like shifts with the expression pedal um, check out some of the uh, YouTube demos actually the pedal zone does really good demo of the reflector then there's white cap which is uh, their tremolo which is half digital half analog which makes it really interesting because you get loads of different textures between two sides the mondegreen which we call the weird delay pedal in our little system but it's just kind of like a little strange box of tricks something which is really worth having for your wildcard pedal on your board the black fountain which is the one that started it all for them the first pedal they did which is basically the oil can delay but one of the most authentic beautiful sounding delays really some of the videos on youtube do that one a lot of justice we're running everything at the start of the chain with the eq buffer which is a lovely little utility thing it's just an eq it's just a buffer nice for the front of the chain then into the excess which uh, i know brady said was based on some very unpopular pedals made by i think ibanez in the 90s um this one is a little more popular actually with just a, just a straight gain sound now it's a really nice amp sound the dweller which was a new release last year is well, we call it a phaser, but it's more a phase repeater. It's like mixing a phaser with a delay in the actual moments of the phase. Just really interesting sounds. And that's the thing with old blood noise, it's about interesting soundscape sounds. A lot of guys tend to use these with synths and tend to use them like use moving knobs, but guitarists also use them a lot too, like with the Alpha Horn, which is their kind of landmark fuzz pedal, which has gain uh, which has all you know there's the sliders on it i mean the sliders are just cool but it also has like clean blend but it's not a real clean blend it's like a non-clean clean blend which really brings the fuzz up this is one hell of a killer fuzz pedal and anyone who's really into fuzzes with millions of fuzz pedals on the market you should at least try and check that one out as a part of your fuzzing about flat light their flanger a little bit more of kind of like a noisemakers experimental flanger very cool and then the fault is the last one going in that order uh, is a two-stage gain device which actually for this board interestingly we run the gain channel one all the time as a completely clean preamp and it does an extremely good job on your board as just functioning as a clean preamp section we've run tests against that with other preamp pedals and other things which are like that it does an extremely good job of just being a preamp because it's got plenty of uh, range with the EQ so yeah that's what we run with that and then we're going into Capstim underneath but that's everything we got with this one so we've got Old Blood Noise, Seox, Peterson, Rev and some lovely Tone Force guitars and that's fun.